Good morning, everyone. Stampin' Smiles to you today. It is a gorgeous day here in Paradise, which means it's not snowing. It's very cold, but it's not snowing. And I'm going to have a good day, and I hope you do too. So today we're going to make this card. And while you're looking at it, I'm just going to make sure... Yeah, it is the right orientation so you can see what I'm doing. So this card uses um, a sentiment from, I'm going to get my recipe off the back so I can tell you, a sentiment from the Dandelion Wishes stamp set. And it uses the Be Mine Stitch dies, Lovely Flower dies, and some of the beautiful All My Love designer paper. So this is, that's the outside. And if you take note of this, I've used the the, some of the hearts that cut out of that die and place them inside and outside. So there's the inside. And here's the recipe. So let me make sure that you can see it. Hold it down a little bit. There you go. So there's the recipe. I'll just hold it for a couple of seconds. Give you time to pause your video on the replay so you can write the recipe down. This layout comes from Patty Bennett, but the card is a Glenda Mollett original. Okay, so we're using the Dandelion Wishes stamp set. So here's the sentiment, sending well wishes your way. There's also wishes for a lifetime of love and happiness, and this would make an awesome um, wedding card or anniversary card. And I made a wish and you came true. We're also using the inside stamp comes from the meant to be stamp set. The Be Mine Stitch Framelits dies and this is the, the die from that that we're going to be using. And the Lovely Flower Edgelet dies. So we're going to use these two dies. And they kind of sort of work together but don't fit together and you may look at it and think it needs to go that way but it, they actually go together this way and I'll show you how that works when we go to meeting doing the card now one thing I'm going to caution you about is you may want to use a piece of parchment paper when you cut out this die because it is so fine on the edges sometimes these little tails for the curly cues get broken off so I use parchment paper not wax paper because wax paper will leave a residue inside your dies and they will eventually get sticky and become unusable so parchment paper works really well people laugh at me because I have parchment paper in my craft room not in my kitchen okay so on the back of this die or the die cut, we're going to use some of the uh, multi-purpose adhesive sheets and these you can find on page 1, 2, 13 of our annual catalog right up here in the corner and you get 12 6 by 12 sheets for 1350 and man do they go a long way there's a lot of adhesive in there and the bundle that these dies come from is the Forever Lovely bundle. And here's, that's the bundle, and there's the dies, and this is the designer paper. And we're going to be using some of the designer paper, and I believe it's this one we're using today. And we're going to use some of the All My Love ribbon, which is also available. And then a few of the cutout dies. So just let me get rid of all the pieces I don't need and put the card up so you can keep an eye on it. So let's move this across. If you would like to order these supplies this week, there's my um, host code for this month and I'd appreciate it if you use that if your order is under uh, $200. If it's over $200, you get hostess rewards and I don't want you to give those up. So anybody who places an order between today, which is 
February the 21st until midnight on Wednesday, February the 27th, will get a kit to make this card. And your name will also go in a draw to win some of the butterfly elements um, from the celebration brochure. Now these are have sold out, they're no longer available. So this is a collector's item, ladies, and I'm going to give one lucky watcher one of send this package off to you. So place an order and get the the kit to make the card. You don't have to order this bundle. You can make it up with whatever you have. And if you like and share my video, I will put your name in a draw and I will give these away. Okay, so let's get started. So we have a lovely lipstick base and I chose that color because it goes with the designer paper and it also goes with the foil paper. Now this foil paper is also sold out and no longer available. But it's just so pretty and I know a lot of you have it so I wanted to show you some um, samples of how to use it. Then there's an inside piece and then this is the piece that goes on the front. So the card is oriented like a hamburger and this piece goes on here and then we're going to cut this edge and then this piece of designer paper slips underneath that and once we get the edge cut then we'll cut the edge for the foil and it just slips underneath like that and then this wraps around and this makes a bow so that's how we're going to be doing the card so we'll start off by um, die cutting the edge of this white piece and get my magnetic platform here so we can get that set up. So first of all, what I want to do is make sure that I've got it oaring the right way because I don't want to cut off this edge and have it too big for the card. So it needs to go this way. And I need my shim. Just hang on. Apparently my shim wasn't... My machines are getting very old and well used so they need a cardboard shim underneath them to make them work properly. And this this die, now remember, you think you want to cut it this way, but you don't. Because we want to make sure that we're able to cut off the edge of the lovely lipstick foil so that um, you'll be able to see it in behind. So I'm just lining this up. I'm centering it this way, sort of centering it. Make sure this this little doodad is on there and there it's almost right up at the very top there we go okay so i'm going to take this over to the side to my big shot and i'm going to oh and then i didn't do what i told you to do the parchment paper very important that little piece of parchment paper if you don't want to have too many struggles getting your die cut off of your cardstock Okay, now I'm going to go and cut it. And I always run my die cuts through twice, forward and backwards. And then I lift it up and make sure it's cut and it's not cut all the way through. So I'm just going to turn it over so that it's die cut. The cutting part of the die is up and run it through a couple of more times. And that'll solve that problem. Now it's now it's well cut out. See, it's coming off of the die already. Okay. So now you just gently tease it out of the the die. Get rid of the excess pieces into the garbage. Uh oh. Apparently I had didn't have that done properly. Okay, so I've messed up that corner, but somewhere I have more card kits. So I'm just going to... Where's my other card kits? What did I do with them? Hang on, I'm sorry. This is very unprofessional. All right, so 
I'm just going to cut down another piece because I don't know what I've done with those card kits. So Whisper White, 4 by 4 and 5 eighths. And it's already cut to 4, so I just need to... There, 4 and 5 eighths. Get out my... Oh my, you're seeing me in the reel. Not everything goes perfectly. I'm going to use the same piece of um, parchment paper here. Just get rid of these little pieces that are still stuck in here. Uh, apparently I should have done that with the brush and the die set. I never even thought. Should be doing the Jeopardy song or something here. Okay. Make sure I got everything out. Turn this around and line it up. Now it just popped into the the space for the the um, parchment paper, so it was proper. Okay, we'll give this a try again and see what happens. This better work. How embarrassing! It's a good thing I can't see your faces. And you can't see mine because I think mine are blushing the same color as the lovely lipstick. Foil is. Oh well, it's real. It's live and you get the good with the bad. Okay, last one through. Let's see if this one worked. Use it out of the die. There's that. I'm just gonna get my brush. And the brush and die set really works well with this die. Good thing my craft room is so small and everything is so close. slowly work this out because I don't want to ruin anything. There, perfecto. Perfecto. Hey, let's get rid of all this stuff. You don't need to see that stuff hanging around. There's a one little tiny piece left in there. Now, these are just embossed. Those don't cut out. They're just embossed. Okay, get this stuff off of here clean up my workspace because now I need to take the foil and make sure I have the foil the right way and my magnetic platform because this is best done on the, the magnet platform and it doesn't matter how far down you go because the measurements I've given you have got a lot of leeway in them so line this up so that the edges are matching up and then take your other die and it just kind of slips in there. Now I do have a, a piece of washi tape on here to hold kind of hold it where I want to cut it. You don't have to be too precise this way but I like to get it centered that way. There we go. So then you just lift out the white part and I'm going to angle this a bit. It gives it a bit better cut. And we'll run it through. I did this with my uh, seniors group, my Sunshine Club ladies. And they didn't have as many problems making it as I am having. <laughs> okay, so this see how that just fits right onto there like that how cool how cool is that okay and of course I didn't bring my snail so I'll have to pardon me this is what I just have on hand some double-sided tape okay shouldn't have put it on that side should be going on this side I want to put my white on underneath it so I can 
put the tape on and it doesn't get taped to my paper. And then you have to be careful where you put it up here because see it's going to show. So put it right there. Right there. Now put a couple of dots of Tombow, really small dots on the the end just so that it all glues down. lid back on. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky with this underneath here, but we'll make it work. So just start by lining up the parts that have the Tombow on them. Make sure it's all lined up, ready to go, and then push it down. Come on. I'm just looking for my silicone mat because it won't stick to my silicone mat. There we go. All right. So there. So don't put your adhesive on the back of your foil until you're ready for it. Okay. So now I want to stamp the sentiment on there. And I saw um, online the other day that if you want to open the, these, this is one of the new ink pads. To open it, you just put your thumbs up there and push and see it pops. You don't have to go struggling to open it. How cool is that? Okay, inking up, sending well wishes your way. And I want to kind of keep it over in this area so we have room to put the ribbon on. And right there is a good spot. Let's give it a rub. There we are. Close this up again. Now the ribbon. Put some tape on the back. lay your big piece of ribbon on there where you want it and because you I've just put adhesive on the back all I have to do is fold it over and it will stay there now I'm going to use the grid paper to line it up so I line up the bottom edge can you see that I line up the bottom edge along the straight and then I put this up at the dark mark which is at eight inches and then line this one up with the eight and just fold it over and then you know you've got it straight up and down. All my cards are made on my grid paper. Now this one just ties around here but I want to do it before I attach this to the card because oops, because sometimes it buckles and I don't want it to buckle. Okay. Now, before you tie it, pull it tight, make sure you get it on the card where you want it, and then just give it a pull. Apparently it's letting go. That's okay. You can redo it. Okay, so just make sure your, your bow is where you want it. And then use my ribbon only scissors to cut off the the ends. This ribbon is still available, it's just on back order at the moment. It's a combo pack that goes with, with this suite of products. Okay, so there we are. Now, because that moved, I just want to reline this up. Make sure I get it in the right spot. There we are. And make sure it's not pulled too tight. And then put tape 
adhesive right over the top of it again just to hold it in place. Now you can put the rest of your adhesive on. I always make sure that my adhesive goes right in the very corners of whatever I'm working on because if it's going to start to fall apart or warp, that's where it's going to happen. All right, now I need, I'm going to put this to the side because we have to put the designer paper on first. So there's my card base. Put the adhesive on the back of the designer paper. And then it goes on the edge here and I just want to see which edge I want out. I think we'll do this one. Okay, just going to center that like that. Now this is going to go on here, and if you lay it down, make sure you get it straight and it's lined up with the designer the edge of the designer paper. There we go. So there's the front created. That didn't take too long once I found another piece of cardstock. Okay, so now we'll put that aside, and we're going to deal with this. And I only used part of it. I didn't use the whole thing because it's it's really long and I didn't want it that long. So I've just taken a piece of foil which measures two and a half by one and a half and I put a piece of the adhesive sheets on the back so it's easy to adhere to your card and I'm just going to cut out this side on the big shot. getting it lined up here before I run it through. And back again. Make sure everything gets cut out. And there, that's what the back looks like. Sometimes the, um, the plastic back liner for the adhesive sheets doesn't cut all the way through, but you don't have to worry about that because um, when you take the adhesive sheet off, it comes out. All the little pieces will come out. All right, so I'm going to put the die to the side. Now I'm going to take all the little hearts out and save them because I can always use them on this card and for another project. So we'll just stick those over there and then I'm just going to take these pieces out of the center because we won't be using those ones for anything and we'll throw them in the, the recycle bin. I'm sure the recycle people love coming to our place on recycle day because there is so many little pieces of paper hanging around. <laughs> okay, so now this is going to fit underneath here so that it hides the X, the squared off end. So I'm just going to trim it a bit because it's a bit too big. And I've still got the liner on there so it's not going to stick to anything. There we go, that's better. Okay, so now you just, let's just take off these sticking out things turn it over and peel the liner off by just putting your fingernail underneath it and pulling. See, it comes off very easy. And it doesn't stick right away either, so um, it gives you time to move it a bit if you want it moved. I'm just doing some trimming so that it looks okay. There we are. All right, so now I'm going to put a couple of hearts back in the holes. So I need the big one. And I always do a dry run with them first because they're not all shaped the same and sometimes it's not the right... Oh, I should have my, my tool here. My take your pick tool. Man, would that ever be good. Okay, there's that one and we'll see which one 
fits in there, maybe this one. Does that one go in there? No, nope, not quite. So I'm going to put this one in because we know that one fits. I guess if you were smarter than me, you would pay attention to where these came out and you wouldn't have to worry about which one fits in what hole. Okay, come on, you need to move. There we go. Now this one I'm going to flip out because it wasn't the right one for that, that particular hole. I'll try another one. No, I don't like that one either. Okay, got one more to try. It probably fit the very first one. Oh, that, that one will do. Okay, so just pop that one back out. Take the liner off the back of it. Come on. Oh, sometimes. sometimes it's a bit painful getting that liner off. Oh, that's because the liner's not on it anymore. It must have come off with the, the other when I took the uh, full liner off the back of it. There we go. Now don't have to worry about which ones fit in there. I'm just going to stick a couple of these on there. Um, this one. And that one there. You know, I really don't like that one in there. So it's coming back out. And we're going to put this one in there. They do come out. You just gotta pop it out with a pokey tool. There we go. Okay, there's the front. All done! How cool is that? Alright, so now we're gonna do the inside. And we need a couple of the hearts for the inside as well. So to do that, I'm just getting the hearts out of the way so I have a nice big stamping area. Make sure my X is on the side, back side. So I'm just going to stamp this stamp twice and then put some hearts in the middle. And for the envelope, I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops. Grab too much, so I'll just leave that open. Can you see that? Mm, sort of. Hey, okay, there we go. Okay, do that pop thing. Whoa! Did you see it? It grabbed me. It's like a shark. That was fun. Okay, so here's the stamp, and this one is out of the meant-to-be stamp set, and it's this little rosy border thing. And it's going to move it up a bit so there's room to put a heart. And Move that one in a bit. There we are. And then the envelope. Make sure I do it the right way. I have stamped many envelopes upside down. There we are. And now because the hearts all have adhesive on the back, from when we started, we can just carry on. Peel, peel the adhesive off and stick it on your inside. I think I'll save the little ones for on the envelope. There you go. There's the inside. Just gonna get the adhesive on there. I could have used Tombow to put this all together, but I tend to forget about it when it comes time to put the cards together. But it works really well. Oh, now isn't that interesting? Did you see what I did? Yeah, I did it for a hot dog card when it's actually a... Uh... Oh well, we're going to just reorient these. So that they go this way. 
This, these adhesive sheets are not really totally permanent. Oh, that one's okay there. I'm going to put another one in there because I can. And we're going to have the stamping around the bottom. Along the bottom of the inside instead of the side. See? Roll with the punches. And really, I was, I was ready a long time ago this morning, or so I thought. Apparently not as ready as I thought I was. There we go. So there's the card finished. Now I'll just put a couple of hearts on the envelope. Oh, well. Make Canada's posts heart go flippity flop because I'm sure they don't like a lot of gigas on the envelopes. So there it is. 35 minutes and we've made this beautiful card. We have three hearts left over for another project or you could add them to this project if you wanted. So here's the original one and there's the one we created this morning. So don't forget between today which is February the 21st until midnight on Wednesday February the 27th if you place an order of $60 or more through my blog using this host code, you will get a kit to make this card. You'll get all of the pieces that you need. There will be no stamping or die cutting done, but you'll get the card stock and the designer paper and the foil. And if you like and share my video today, I'll put your name in a draw for a package of the butterfly elements from the celebration brochure these are no longer available so these are collectors items ladies i hope you enjoyed my stamping for you today and i'm so glad you were able to join me in my craft room and if you didn't see it live you can always watch it on the replay and i also upload to my youtube channel have a wonderful day and stamp and smiles to everybody bye for now